Hi, welcome back. This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. Today we're going to adjust the tension on the belts of my thickness planer. They seem to be a little bit loose. Let's listen to it. So this is my Grizzly 20 inch spiral cutter head thickness planer. And listen, you can hear the belt slip when we start it up. So that's not good. So we need to take a look at the belts and either shorten the belt or tighten the motor to increase the tension on the belts. Let's take a look. The belts are protected or you're protected from the belts with this belt cover. And years ago I replaced the standard belts with link belts to eliminate vibration. So here they are. And look, they're, they're actually quite loose. So there's usually enough play with the motor on the motor mounts to change the position of the drive pulley, which is down here, with respect to the belts. We'll take a look inside the base of this to see how much give there is. And if there's not that much give, we'll loosen that up, take a few links out of these link belts, and then tighten it back up. So we'll take a look at the motor and the motor mounts right now. Okay, there are two panels that cover up the door. The, I took the one off on the other side and that's where the pivot of the motor is. So once we take this cover off we'll be able to see the potential adjustment for the motor itself. Here we go. Yeah, so there's really not that much play. Let's take a closer look at it. So these are the motor mounts. And you can see that there's not really much more downward adjustment which would tighten it. So we're going to loosen these up and take some links out of the belt and then tighten this back up. So you can see the two bolts that I've loosened. And now the motor is free to come up, which is going to allow us to really loosen those belts, take those off, shorten them up, and, and replace them. So i got a pry bar in here just to show how the motor can be. The motor is very heavy, so, so the motor can be moved. So the motor can be moved up, which takes the tension off, off the pulley. There we go. Now... I brought the motor up, I put that block of wood there holding it, now it's going to really loosen the pulley. Let's take a look over here, and that connects to this pulley, and you can see how incredibly loose the belts are. So now we get to tighten these up, shortening them, and then reconnect them. Okay, so these are our three leak belt drive pulleys, and um, remember always take them off on the on the bigger of the belts or bigger always take them off on the larger of the pulleys two and three there we go now one of these belts I drew this. I put this mark. I put this mark showing rotation. So I'm going to make a mark on all the other ones in the same direction. And I have a little mark for rotation here because there's a better... You can, you can put these either way on these pulleys because they're also good for reversing motors. But there is one direction that is the smoothest running and we're going to put it in that direction. Okay, let's take some, you can see the arrow I put on here. 
you can see the arrow. Let's take a few links off of here. The way this is done, I usually use a plier. You twist this tab, bringing it through this hole. And then you've got this link here that just pulls through and you've disconnected it. Now, to take two links out, we'll twist the tab of the second link. Uh, I took out three. I want to take out just two. We'll twist this tab out and then this tab out and there are my, there are my two links that I took off. Here are my two links that I removed. So we'll remove two links from each belt. When you get the hang of this it actually becomes pretty easy. Basically we need to replace these two tabs. So typically I do the dual one first which is easy. Just put it in there and twist it. There it goes. And then I reach through the hole, grab this tab, turn it, bring it through and twist it back. That's it. Now it's been recreated. Now let's, let's reinstall these on the uh, thickness planer. So I have the belts here in the correct direction. First thing we want to put on is the, uh, the inboard one. We'll do it one at a time. So I'll start on the, on the outboard. Small pulley. And then we'll move into the next pulley. There it goes. Then switch over to the most inboard pulley and just push it over and line it up. There we go. That one's done. I got to find the little arrow. Okay. Same thing here. Getting the first one on is the most difficult. We're getting on the first pulley. There we go. And then we'll move over to the second pulley. That's it. And move this one over. Good. Now for the third one. Whoop. Had it. Lost it. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, all three are on. Um, they're actually fairly snug at this point, but we're going to really tighten them up so there's no, no play by taking the board out and adjusting that motor mount. All right, well, I'm going to support the motor mount, take the, take the stick out. Now you can see the, the motor is just hanging here, so we're going to raise the stop bolts and then tighten down the top bolts. Okay, so we've raised the lower nut, brought the motor down, and then tightened the, this securing nut. So now the motor pulls the pulley down, which tightens those belts. I'll show you the tension on the belts right now. Okay, now, oh yeah, th these are tight, nice and tight. Uh, not, not unduly tight, they still have some give. You need belts to have a little bit of give. Half to three quarters of an inch over this length is good, and that's where we're at. Well, we'll put the covers back on right now and fire it up and see how it, how it sounds. So we put the cover back on over the belts, and always put the cover back on before you run it. This is just simply too dangerous to have this exposed. And then we'll put the cover over the motor as well. Okay, here we are. We've now properly we've shortened the belts and then tightened the motor mount. And now let's listen to it and see if there's any belt slippage. None. That was great. Perfect. So... The thing with these link belts that we've discussed previously is that they always loosen up with time. And so once you put one on and uh, run it for a while, hour and a half, two hours, you pretty much need to tighten it because these will give, they'll stretch, they'll set in. Uh, and you don't want belt slippage. It takes a lot of the power away from your motor and uh, it's not as efficient. So thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please click comment. Please subscribe. And um, comments are very welcome. 
And uh, again, as always, stay safe. Thank you.